Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship reading for you Pisces. I hope you're well. I hope you're fine. This reading for today Pisces is for the first week of June 2020. And this is a love connection reading for the Piscean friends out there. Okay, this is for you. If you are a guest viewers and you haven't clicked the subscribe button, the bell, do it now. You know, if you click the bell, if you click subscribe, you are giving me the permission to tap into your energy. And who knows, one day I will be spot on and I will be able to deliver the, you know, the answer, the message that is meant for you to hear. Okay, so here you go, Pisces, first week of June. Okay, in today's reading, wow, this is heavy to start off. Okay, that is the energy in the past. Three cards from the past situation or past energy and then two cards for your energy and then the mutual energy of you and your person is here your person's energy okay and you've got here um three advice card how will this pan out or outcome or advice in the future okay so let's start your reading um let's start with the past position for you okay so you've got here three of swords wow 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 this is so painful queen of swords ten of swords in reverse um i think for some of you you haven't moved on with that person in the past the one who hurt you the one who caused you third party i think you're still waiting for this person to explain to to tell you why they hurt you, they ghosted you, or why there was a third party. There is a bitterness attached with the Queen of Swords energy. Like you're waiting for some sort of closure or explanation about this pain. Okay? I am just a messenger, but I feel like one of the strongest message in here is that if someone hurt you, someone deceive you, someone betrays you, there's no other reason but they are not genuine with you and there's no further explanation actually okay because it so if you're waiting this is for those Pisces that if you're waiting for if you're waiting for someone to give you a closure you don't have to you can give yourself your own closure okay because for some of you the more you wait the more you are in the more you wait the more because this is your energy temperance you're waiting you're very patient you're you're giving you you know you you're in there wanting some sort of explanation why you hurt me why you deceived me where in fact you've got a choice to just move on and don't look back you know you can always give a closure you have a choice okay because for some of you it's getting the longer it takes for you the longer it takes that you wait for your person to give you some sort of closure or explain why they did that why blah 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 the more you become a, a different the more you become insecure or spite okay so your card in here it's advising you um that trust that whatever the universe trust that whenever trust that whatever the universe did in the past it is not to hurt you but it is to make you a strong person and it is um, a path where you need to accept that maybe maybe this is not the person or maybe maybe when you surpass this challenge your two of cups like this will be more stronger okay so that's very specific or very general but i feel like the past situation for you is that someone betrayed you there's a third party or it's so painful, okay? Someone deceive you or just disappointment and disappointment and disappointment. If this is not a third party, then this is an energy of you disappoint me, you ghosted me, you chicken out, you pull away. You have given me more problem. You know, this is prob this is pain problem. And as a result, you are stuck in that same scenario. You're still there, ten of swords, no solution. You're still waiting for an answer and you don't get the answer because the answer is within you okay your person has fly out you know um your person is not happy okay ten of cups in reverse your person is not happy ten of cups in reverse it's pointing the three of wands so i felt like 
what I see in here in the immediate future, I'm jumping into the immediate future, is that there is more fight than reconciliation. Okay, You would have some sort of talk or conversation, but it's going to lead up to fight. Okay, Or, I don't know, split or break up. But there's a communication, there's a conversation, and it's still leading to a third party, still bringing up old issues and pain. It's not good, page of wands, in reverse. This is your mutual energy. So... I want you to carry the temperance card energy. Okay, this is an angel. I send you this angel. Um, the wings is wrapping your is giving you the this this the the wings of this angel is very healing. This wings will wrap you and will fly you and will take you somewhere relax because you've been through a lot. Okay, so I send you my healing, I send you my hug, I send you the utmost love and support and kind and empathy and whatever you need, okay? This journey that you have with your person and the battle with love and hate, it is something that wouldn't resolve right away. You are being thought to be a better person, okay? Um... Your person is not ready. Your person is avoiding you. Your person is not happy. You would have some sort of conversation with your person in the immediate future. It would still end up with a fight because it isn't ready. This timeline, this lifetime for some of you isn't for you and this person. Okay? Now, in the immediate future, you've got the world guard and the judgment. Now, this angel, okay... In the current energy, this angel who will be beside you, who will you embracing, okay? I'm sending you the healing energy of this angel. I want you to accept it, Pisces, and heal, accept, forget, and forgive. Easy to say, but I know it's really hard to technically do it. But I want you, when you sleep tonight or when you watch my reading, this video, I want you to sleep peacefully and give your worries and concern to the universe okay this angel is watching over you you have some guide they will take your pain so give this to this angel this angel will fly the pain and it will be spread in the universe and wipe your tears because in the immediate future you will you will get through this the world card and when you look back in the in in the past you will smile because there's someone better than you this angel will return this time around when he took your pain he will come back to announce to you that i've got something better for you this looks like a cross it looks like x reverse so there's definitely someone brand new coming along for you okay i'm seeing this around october I'm seeing this 20 weeks from now. Very specific. Okay? So if you're ready to cut ties with your ex or with someone who you're manifesting with, do it now. The angels are watching you and waiting for you and is willing to carry that burden, that pain. They will spread their wings and they will distribute that pain. That pain, that pain that this person or you or whoever caused that and they will spread it in the universe. It will be transformed into a dust of sparkling that would probably, you know, come back to the earth and would serve as a karma if you, if, if they hurt you, okay? So the angel will come back and um, will give you some good news, you know, for some of you October month, 20 weeks from now. Something will come along that some is something that you deserve. And when you look back, and you look up in, and you remember this pain, you will realize that it's worth the wait and it's worth going through this because you will meet the right love and the right person for you. It's very beautiful and it's very calming, okay? So Pisces, this is your reading. Um, wipe your tears. Remove the... Let go heal and trust the process of this love life cycle okay thank you guys i'll see you soon bye bye